What it do, what it do. We back in this thing. I'm gonna show y'all that in a second. But uh man, y'all ever go down the path of a short, simple task, man, and it just snowballs. I'm talking about a simple, simple task. So I'm out here trying to get this uh battery tray, not this one, but the one out of the dually. And I'm thinking I'm gonna take the little four bolts out. You know, it's normally two here, one on the bottom, one here. And uh, I got them out and this thing did not want to come out. So I'm like, what is going on? So as you can see, got four bolts right there. Sorry for the shadows, man. You know, the sun is right there. But got them out and that sucker still ain't bulging. So apparently it looks like it's another bracket. This piece right here that's holding this in. Similar to what happened with this. When I took this core support out and put that battery thing in there, there's a bolt down here and a bolt in there that holds it to the radio support. It almost looks like it's the exact same thing just for this passenger side. So, uh, I can show it to you. You got one, I can't even, can't even get it please. Well, there's one bolt there and there's one right here. So I had to take the lights out to get to those. And it's just like, man, damn, man. I just want to do a simple, simple task. Get the battery out, take it to the powder coat. <laughs> well you never can tell fully with these trucks but uh i'm gonna get it out put it beside that one go get them both done and then uh when i get it out i'm gonna bust this box open and show y'all what that is this sucks man Oh, boy. Hey. Oh my God, y'all. See if this thing comes out. Dang. Wow. Now this is different. All that to get the battery tray out, man. So this part so this part is the same basically it just has this extra piece for whatever reason I guess extra stability damn that's terrible god I got it but man I didn't feel like doing that all that I didn't think I would be doing all that this morning Jeez, we got it. Got to put all these bolts and screws back so I don't lose them. Get this stuff to the powder coat. Let me clean this little mess up and then we'll open that box over there and show y'all what that is. This reminds me, while I was cleaning up, I just realized something. The OEM grills, y'all should keep these. These little pieces that the screws go into because I got an aftermarket on the orange truck and they don't fit worth a damn. So I got all four in that side, uh, missing one in that side right there, but three in that side. And I think I got a grill off that parts truck. Let me get back here and take a look before I throw it out. I need to grab them out of that too. Let's take a look here. Yep, it's still in there with the, the light. So I recommend keeping these screws and the little clips behind them, man, because the one on that orange truck don't fit. They don't fit worth a damn. So got three on that light. 
and all four on that light. Let me show y'all. So we got this aftermarket grill right here. The speed daddy grill, but these don't fit very well. Those are aftermarket that I found. You can see right there, that one don't even kind of go in all the way. But they just, they didn't fit very good. You can see that light just shaking. So I'm gonna keep them bad boys. Keep them OEM clips, they always fit better. Oh, uh, all right, now we're gonna show y'all what's in this bad boy. I gotta figure out how to open this mug first. Let's see. This is from Tin Works Fabrication. Y'all will be seeing a sponsored video soon. I told them I would throw this on the truck. A little sponsor video. So they sent this out to me, but I think it's in a raw. Oh man, that's high quality right there. And the two side pieces. Okay. So basically, what this is, connect some bolts. Might as well keep that before it get lost. So I think I showed a screenshot before, once or twice, when uh, I actually talked with them about ordering it. But basically this is a bracket for air compressors for the airbags. So you can fit two uh, compressors and uh, I think a Vi, uh, no, two tanks, I mean, I'm sorry. Two air tanks and a Vi Air compressor or possibly any other brand that you want to use, I guess. And uh, it's basically like a cradle, comes down like that. And I think it goes right here where this tire goes. So I have to double check. Uh, I really ain't done the research yet. I know I needed to, I wanted to get it powder coated, probably do flat black. But that's gonna be pretty sick, man. That way I can have air to these bags right here and not have to use, not have to use this kind of setup where you gotta manually air it up at the back and whatnot. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, we appreciate Tin Works Fabrication for that. Uh, like I said, it'll be a sponsored video once we actually get it installed. I got to get the compressor and the tanks and all that. Uh, that stuff don't cost a whole lot. Uh, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, we're going to take this stuff to get powder coated. And I really need to look around the yard and see if there's anything else I need. But I don't think I don't think there was anything else. I think that's all I wanted to do. So uh, I'm going to go take this stuff. Uh, if there's something interesting at the powder coat shop, I might bring y'all some footage. But if not... I'll just holler back at y'all later. I'm gonna come back and do more work on this thing. And uh, hopefully I can get it get it close. I wanna have this thing run by the end of February. Wrong. Today is like February 10th. So we got, what, 18 days? Uh, so man, it's gonna be cool. Stick around, man. We'll be back with y'all later. All right, I'm back, y'all. I dropped that stuff off to get uh, powder coated at the shop. It was ghost town around there. There was nobody there. So I just dropped it off with the one guy that was there. And uh, went and ate lunch with Quan. Stopped by O'Reilly. Let me tell y'all what I got right here. This is Dorman 41040. Now, I actually didn't need this retainer clip. I just needed a little piece to go on that sucker right there. That's all I need, and I can't find it. And there ain't no junkyards nearby. So, I bought this just to get that little clip out of there. So, we're going to see if we can get it out. Let me set this camera up see if I can get it out without losing it because I have no idea what happened to the original that uh that came with the donor truck so you see it's the piece that I need figure out how to get it out of there there we go I see that these have decent reviews. Some people say you had to modify it to make it work, but like I said, I don't. I didn't need that much. I just need the clip. We'll come over here and see if it works. All right. Y'all might not have seen me put it in there, but it's on. See it? So that's done. This thing used to just pop on and off. It's crazy because the TBI, not the TBI, the Vortex style, this uh, 
it's got the clip, the open on this side, so you just pop it on and pull it towards that way, and it'll lock itself on. But uh, I didn't feel like swapping out uh, out of the thing. I don't even know how these come out. So I guess you would, I know you can swap these out. People have told me that before, but I never done it. So I don't know if you just pop it out here and you got to do something to the inside. I'm not sure. So rather than do all that, I just bought that little $16 piece just to get that little clip and I'm good to go. What it do, what it do, we back in this thing. We got some parts to show y'all. <laughs> He's right. It's been several weeks since uh, I took that battery tray off and showed y'all well, not showed y'all because y'all ain't seen this, but it's earlier in the video, you'll see when I unbox this. It has been several weeks since I shot that video. So I dropped them off at the powder coat. Took them a while to get them done. Then it took me a while to get by there because I'd be so busy hauling loads and running cars. So finally got by there and got them. Uh, I am quite happy with the turnout. I think we used, I can't remember the color. It's a satin style color. But uh, it turned out great. This is the one from 700 to go on the passenger side. Remember, I changed the battery to the driver's side, but I wanted to put this back in there just in case I want to run an extra battery or whatever. Uh, this is the one out of the dually. Y'all can see it's pitted a little bit. But the reason I wanted to use it was because all the edges were fine. So none of the edges were wore out and broke, none of that. So that'll be, that'll be fine. Uh, the only issue is they lost the bolts i knew i should have took them damn bolts out uh remember this was connected to this down here and they said they would take them off and hold them for me but they got lost so i have to find some bolts to put those back together i want to see if one of the yukons out there uh got the the bolts in yeah. the frame and i can reuse that yeah, um hold on man uh this came out well these are some quality pieces man you can see how long they've been sitting man look at that just ridiculous but they do a great job man i'm really happy with it the only only issue i had <laughs> and i told them is like when i went to go find my parts like i pay I, I i paid the lady and i was going to pick all the parts up i couldn't find this it was in a different spot and as you can see they uh, kind of turned it into a, 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 a doormat of sorts. <laughs> Hell of uh, footprints all over it. So well, look, that was uh, what? I drew that. Cool cars, KJ. I hear you, buddy. Always supporting, ain't it right? But oh, uh, as you can see, he got on the merch. Y'all still don't forget to cop that. Oh yeah, I think I got some of these left actually. Um, oh, by the way, by the way, the trailer is going away soon. I have sold like 80 shirts. Um, I put them on sale a couple of weekends ago, end up selling an extra 20 or so. I really appreciate that. So that trailer and those prizes are going away very soon. I'm already planning the, uh, the way I'm going to give them away. Uh, actually, I'm going to run this by y'all. I, I think I was going to go live at some point. We was going to talk about this. But my idea is to take every order, 80, 90 order, orders or whatever, however many it is, Print out the order form, right? If you got five, if you order five shirts like one of our faithful subscribers did, I'm gonna print out five sheets. And my idea was to ball them up and put them in like Easter eggs or something, and then put them in another uh, uh, like tote and then draw them out one by one. That way every person can see that their name was in the hat, so to speak. And then uh, when we get down to the last five, those would be the five winners so that's my idea that's the way it's fair and and like i said everybody knows their name was in there so we'll, we'll talk about that later i'm still thinking of ideas to do it but that's kind of what's sticking out in my head right now but um yeah man this is this is nice i gotta order the uh two compressor tanks no the two air tanks and the two compressors that go in this if i even need that many i may just start out with one tank and one compressor because all it is is just the rear airbags for the dually um let me walk over there and show them to you yeah so all we got on here is the airbags at the back 
and that's just really for uh you know if we ever hook a load to it uh whether it be with the hitch or uh, a gooseneck i still want to get a custom made gooseneck plate uh, i'm not sure which direction i'm gonna go but that's my idea this is coming out to mount that bracket and actually this is a two for a win-win because -win, big z needs this piece this hole from here to here to here he needs it because his is rusted out bad and uh this has to come out to mount that bracket so we're gonna take this out he can have that and then we'll mount the parts over there so that's gonna work out uh the um 700 done i don't know when this video is gonna be posted you know i never really know my, my posting schedule but 700 done is at dustin's house right now as you can see it's gone uh, we are doing the final touches on getting it running hooking wires up and uh, uh we got to build a fuse box i bought a nice fuse box had to order the terminals and uh pins and everything to go in it and uh, so we're, we're doing that finishing touches to get that thing running and hopefully that'll be soon but uh everything is progressing man i know some of y'all may be upset that i don't post a lot of uh obs footage right now it's just i've been busy man and y'all know i've said it several times that uh youtube is a hobby i don't do this to make any money um i do it to connect with y'all and to make memories with my kids and my family and all that so sometimes it's going to be slow sometimes it's going to be a lot of transport and not a lot of obs but you know i try to get y'all the uh the fix that y'all need but um that's that's about it i don't recall i think i just wanted to show an update with these parts right here uh this video is probably long enough with with not a lot of great in-depth footage so you know i like to keep them short when that's the case if it's not if it's not a lot of action going on man i like to i like to keep it short man everybody's busy everybody's time is valuable but yeah we're gonna get i gotta get some bolts uh put this back together um I guess I can give you an update on this. I need to pull this dash. That's gonna be, once I get done with 700, I'm gonna pull that dash, clean behind it, lay the uh, carpet juke back in, lay the carpet, put the seats back in. Then it's gonna be on to snatching this motor out, dropping it off to get it gone through so we can go in the red truck. And then we're gonna start the process of the twin turbo 6.0, so hopefully that stuff comes to fruition soon man and uh when it does we'll bring y'all along for the ride that's gonna be it for now man i don't really have i don't really have much else so we're gonna get out of here man we're gonna holler at y'all damn that didn't come out right we're gonna holler at y'all peace <laughs>